Good day everyone. COVID-19 Consideration in Dental Practice 1. Consideration in Dental Practice 2. Contents, about the coronavirus, prevalence, risk factors Introduction 01 General Transmission, Transmission by Dental Procedures Mode of Transmission 02 Diagnostic Tests other measures diagnosis 03 treatment protocols 0405 guidelines of prevention prevention during dental treatment preventive measures drug use or treatment 3 about covid-19 introduction 4 characteristics of 2019 novel coronavirus 5 coronavirus to cross species to infect human populations in the past two decades. 1. Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus, SARS-CoV, outbreak in 2002 2. Middle East Respiratory Syndrome Coronavirus, MERS-CoV, outbreak in 2012. Group of Viruses, cause a significant percentage of all common colds in human adults and children. Four human coronavirus including 229E, OC43, NL63, and HKU1 are prevalent and typically cause common cold symptoms in immunocompetent individuals. 6. SARS-CoV which causes SARS, has a unique pathogenesis because it causes both upper and lower respiratory tract infections. The genome sequence of 2019 NCoV is about 89% identical to bat SARS-like COV and 82% identical to human SARS-CoV. It has been reported that 2019 NCoV uses the same cell entry receptor, ACE2, to infect humans, as SARS-CoV, so clinical similarity between the two viruses could be expected, particularly in severe cases. The first death, January 9, 2020, in Wuhan and since then more than 370,000 cases and 16,000 deaths occurred worldwide. 7. Prevalence confirmed 46,64,486 recovered 17,08,969 deaths 300,254 worldwide, confirmed 90,927 recovered 34,109 deaths 2872 in India. Confirmed 11,380 recovered 4,499 deaths 659 in Gujarat. 8. Transmissibility 9. How do YOU get COVID-19? Cough sneeze and droplet inhalation transmission direct transmission contact with oral, nasal, eye and mucous membrane indirect transmission. 10. Structure Everus. 11. How SARS-CoV-2 binds to the human cell. 12. Dental aerosolization. 13. Dental procedures create particles of droplets and aerosol with COVID-19. Firstly, many dental procedures such as those including the use of high-speed turbines and running water, release a large number of particles of droplets and aerosols mixed with the patient's saliva to the air. These particles are so small that they could stay airborne for a considerable period of time. These particles could also settle on environmental surfaces and other dental equipment. Researches suggest that the virus could live up to 72 hours on hard surfaces. Moreover, the dental office usually includes surfaces of metal, glass, or plastic. Thus, dentists and other patients could easily get infected without proper control procedures. 
Because it is tough to avoid the generation of particles of droplets and aerosol, this is probably the most important concern for dental professionals. 14. The incubation period of COVID-19 has been estimated at 5 to 6 d on average. The asymptomatic incubation period for individuals infected with 2019 and COV has been reported to be 1 to 14 days, and after 24 days individuals were reported confirmed that those without symptoms can spare the virus. According to Kai Wang et al., live virus present in the saliva also that can spread easily. Incubation period 15. Worker exposure, OSHA 2020, very high high medium low risk healthcare workers, laboratory personnel, morgue workers performing autopsies medical transport workers, workers preparing for cremation of suspected patients frequent exposure to people who may be affected minimal occupational contact. 16. Clinical manifestations pandemic, COVID-19, cough fever shortness of breath sore throat atypical symptoms, such as muscle pain, confusion, headache fatigue diarrhea and vomiting. 17. In general, older age and the existence of underlying comorbidities, example diabetes, hypertension, and cardiovascular disease, were associated with poorer prognosis, Kui ETAL 2020, Wang ETAL 2020, Yang ETAL 2020. Serious complications, acute respiratory distress syndrome, arrhythmia, and shock, Chen, Zhou, ETAL 2020, Huang ETAL 2020, Wang ETAL 2020. 18. 25 studies reported 180 cases which underwent chest CT, 113, 62.7%. CT scans presented abnormalities. The most prevalent abnormalities reported were ground glass opacities, patchy shadows, and consolidations. Radiological features. 19. Laboratory diagnosis. 20. All symptomatic contacts of laboratory confirmed cases all symptomatic healthcare workers all patients with severe acute respiratory illness asymptomatic direct and high risk contacts of a confirmed case should be tested once between day 5 and day 14 of coming in his slash her contact. Strategy for COVID-19 test engine India Indian Council of Medical Research Department of Health Research, version 4 dated September 4, 2020. 21. Throat and nasal swab preferred sample nasopharyngeal swab, endotracheal aspirate alternate, sample collection. 22. Respiratory specimen collection methods lower respiratory tract bronchoalveolar lavage, tracheal ASPI rate, Sputum collect 2 to 3 ml into a sterile, leak proof, screw cap sputum collection cup or sterile dry container. Upper respiratory tract nasopharyngeal swab slash oropharyngeal swab. 23. General guidelines trained healthcare professionals to wear appropriate PPE with latex free purple nitrile gloves while collecting the sample from the patient. Maintain proper infection control when collecting specimens restricted entry to visitors or attendants during sample collection complete the requisition form for each specimen submitted proper disposal of all waste generated, yellow. 24. Tilt patient's head back 70 degrees. Rub swab over both tonsillar pillars and posterior oropharynx avoid touching the tongue, teeth and gums. Use only synthetic fiber swabs with plastic shafts.
Do not use calcium alginate swabs or swabs with wooden shafts. Place swabs immediately into sterile tubes containing 2 to 3 ml of viral transport media. Oropharyngeal swab slash throat swab. 25. Tilt patient's head back 70 degrees. Insert flexible swab through the nares parallel to the palate until resistance is encountered or the distance is equivalent to that from the ear to the nostril of the patient. Gently, rub and roll the swab. Leave the swab in place for several seconds to absorb secretions before removing. Nasopharyngeal swab. 26 Investigations RT, PCR Rapid Diagnostic Tests, RDTs, Rapid Diagnostic Tests Based on Antigen Detection Rapid Diagnostic Tests Based on Host Antibody Detection. 27. Reverse Transcriptase Polymerase Chain Reaction, RT-PCR, An Ideal Diagnostic is Both Specific and Sensitive, which means that people who test positive truly have the disease and none of the people carrying the virus slip through the test as a false negative. Throat or nasal swab RT-PCR. 28. Once at the lab, the RNA must first be converted to DNA using an enzyme called reverse transcriptase. Then, specific sequences of DNA, primers, designed to recognize complementary virus sequences are added, so that another enzyme usually a modified form of TIC polymerase can make a copy of a short length of viral DNA. This process is repeated for 20 to 30 cycles, exponentially amplifying the amount of viral DNA so that it can be detected. Having the entire virus genome was crucial for designing primers that would detect only SARS-CoV-2 and not SARS-CoV or any other closely related coronaviruses. 29. For people anxiously waiting for their test results in contrast, rapid test kits can give results in under an hour, making point-of-care diagnostics possible tested at their local general practitioner and receive their results at the same visit. Rapid Diagnostic Tests Kits, RDTs. 30. Viral proteins, antigens, expressed by the COVID-19 virus in a sample from the respiratory tract of a person. If the target antigen is present in sufficient concentrations in the sample, it will bind to specific antibodies fixed to a paper strip enclosed in a plastic casing and generate a visually detectable signal, typically within 30 minutes. The antigen, S, detected are expressed only when the virus is actively replicating, therefore, such tests are best used to identify acute or early infection. Rapid diagnostic tests based on antigen detection. 31. The test's work depends on several factors, including 1. The time from onset of illness 2. The concentration of virus in the specimen 3. The quality of the specimen collected from a person and how it is processed 4. The precise formulation of the reagents in the test kits. Who does not currently recommend the use of antigen detecting rapid diagnostic tests for patient care, although research into their performance and potential diagnostic utility is highly encouraged. 32. Presence of antibodies in the blood of people believed to have been infected with COVID-19 antibodies are produced over days to weeks after infection with the virus. In some people with COVID-19, disease confirmed by molecular testing, RT-PCR, weak, late or absent antibody responses have been reported. Rapid diagnostic tests based on host antibody detection. 33 Treatment 34. Chloroquine, a widely used anti-malarial and autoimmune disease drug. 
Block virus infection by increasing endosomal pH required for virus-slash-cell fusion, as well as interfering with the glycosylation of cellular receptors of SARS-CoV. An immune-modulating activity, which may synergistically enhance its antiviral effect in vivo. Cheap and a safe drug it is believed to interfere with coronavirus replication through reduction is cellular mitogen activated protein kinase, MAPK, activation, through post-transitional modification of viral proteins in host Golgi such as altering the maturation of the coronavirus envelope M protein which is critical for viral assembly, and through other mechanisms of immune system modulation. 35 BCG BCG is known to have in reducing the incidence of respiratory viral infections, its use during the COVID-19 pandemic may prove beneficial. Results of upcoming clinical trials are eagerly anticipated and encouraging. Studies conclude, received BCG as a mass vaccination will have less frequency of COVID-19. Using oral zinc sulfate combined with BCG immunotherapy to have more effective protection against infection including COVID-19 than BCG immunotherapy alone. BCG vaccine has much more rapid action in people who have already been BCG vaccinated. 36. Melatonin Melatonin, a well-known anti-inflammatory and antioxidative molecule, is protective against ARDS caused by viral and other pathogens. Effective in critical care patients by reducing vessel permeability, anxiety, sedation use, and improving sleeping quality, which might also be beneficial for better clinical outcomes for COVID-19 patients. Notably, melatonin has a high safety profile. There is significant data showing that melatonin limits virus-related diseases and would also likely be beneficial in COVID-19 patients. Additional experiments and clinical studies are required to confirm this speculation. Zhang R, Wang X, Nil, Dx, Ma B, Niu S, Lucy, Writer R J. COVID-19. Melatonin as a potential adjuvant treatment. Life Sciences. 2020 Mar 23 117583. 37. Dentistry during and after COVID 19 lockdown. How to rebooting the dental practice after lockdown. 38. During lockdown. 39. Emergency Severity Assessment 40. Table 2 Recommended Medications for Emergency Care Patients Reporting with Severe Dental Pain During COVID-19 Pandemic The most recommended drugs of choice for treating severe pain are acetaminophen 1000 mg every 6 to 8 hours or ketorolactromethamine 10 mg every 6 hours or peroxicam 20 mg, every 12 hours, or ibuprofen 600 mg, every 6 hours, use with caution asterisk asterisk current who guideline has contraindicated the usage of ibuprofen during COVID-19 pandemic. However with conflicting research in this issue this position statement would recommend the usage of alternative medications to ibuprofen given in this above. 41. Emergency Severity Assessment of the Associated Dental Condition Only patients which fall under emergency slash urgent care should be attended to or scheduled immediately for management. While others may be telecounseled, put under pharmacological management if needed and kept on a telephonic follow-up for any exacerbation of symptoms. Dr. Jarvis Barbosa PAHOSASSISTANT Director 42. How to prevent an outbreak? Recommendations for infection prevention and control. 
43. One thing always keep in mind every patient is an asymptomatic carrier of COVID-19. 44. General recommendations as outlined previously droplet and aerosol transmission are significant risks in the dental practice setting. Due to the potential risk of asymptomatic COVID-19 patient presenting in the dental setting appropriate measures to limit risk should be taken. If aerosol generating procedures are undertaken, operators should wear appropriate personal protective equipment ideally comprised of a fluid resistant mask, visor, and apron. It is important to remember to put on and remove PPE in an order that minimizes the risk of contamination. Even when not using aerosol generating procedures, it is important that robust infection control measures are employed. In non-clinical areas such as reception and waiting areas thorough cleaning should take place. 45. Step 1. Telephonic pre-screening protocol fix appointments through phone only and discourage walk-in patients hotspot matching and medical symptoms assessment dental needs assessment disclosure slash consent form to be sent to patient, electronically, if possible, ask patient to wear mask and preferably come alone without any attender step 2, reception slash waiting area protocol receptionist slash staff, one person discourage footwear within clinic interiors slash provide foot cover record patient. Temperature using digital non-contact infrared thermometer mandatory use of alcohol-based hand rub, abr, and provide mask for everyone seating arrangement with minimum 3 feet physical distancing display patient education material on hand and cough hygiene patient to submit signed disclosure slash consent form. Table 1. Step 3. Dental Operatory Protocol Keep the clinical operatory clutter-free Improve air circulation and avoid air conditioners 0.01% NaOCl for disinfection of dental water lines Donning of appropriate PPE for dental surgeon and one dental assistant patient scheduled for physical visit patient guided inside dental operatory. 46. Step 4, Patient Assessment and Treatment Protocol Pre-Procedural Mouth Rinse, 1% Hydrogen Peroxide or 0.2% Povidoniodine, 1 Minute Extra Oral Scrubbing of Face with Antiseptic Wipe Diagnose and Treatment Plan into Aerosol Generating Procedures, AGP, and Non-Aerosol Generating Procedures, Non-AGP, Forehanded dentistry and rubber dam application for AGP high volume suction and minimize IOPA usage aerosol generating procedures, AGP, should be ideally done in designated isolation rooms for AGP which should be equipped with HEPA filters slash augmented ventilation non aerosol generating procedures, AGP, step 5. Patient discharge patient advised to remask and proceed to reception area hand hygiene electronic treatment records only cashless payment preferred patient seated on dental chair. 47. Step 6A, post, treatment airborne contaminant removal protocol room should be well ventilated with a minimum 6 ACH, air changes per hour. Table 3 Aerosol Generating Procedures, AGP, one or more of the following four contaminant removal techniques should be followed vacate the operatory during disinfection procedure non, aerosol generating procedures, AGP, HEPA air filters, MIN 12 ACH, 20 minutes air filtration with HEPA 13 slash HEPA 14 filters UVGI, ultraviolet germicidal irradiation, plus ventilation, min 6 ACH, 5 minutes UVC irradiation of 245 nanometers, 40 W per 100 square foot only natural ventilation, min 6 ACH, 60 minutes cross ventilation and additional ventilators, 
pedestal fans, exhaust fans, disinfectant defogging 30 to 45 minutes hydrogen peroxide vapor, HPV, or chlorine dioxide step 6B, post-treatment chairside disinfection protocol. 48. Step 6B, post-treatment chairside disinfection protocol. Minimum 20 minutes instrument change flushing of suction and spittoon drainage with 1% NaOCl disinfect 3 feet area around chair and mop the clinical area Step 7, protocol at the end of clinical day repeat Step 6B and 6A in this order doffing of PPE in separate area biomedical waste in double lined yellow bags only Step 8. When going home after a workday we should change from scrubs to personal clothing before returning home. Upon arriving home, we should take off shoes, remove and wash clothing separately from other household residents, and immediately shower. 49. Hoare Commendations 50 Hand Hygiene According to the CDC Hand Hygiene Guidelines, Dentists should perform hand hygiene before and after all patient contact, contact with potentially infectious material, and before putting on and after removing PPE, including gloves. It should be performed by using alcohol-based hand rub, ABR, with 60-95% alcohol or washing hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds. 62. 5163. 52. A study published in 2017 in the Journal of Infectious Diseases evaluated the virucidal activity of ABHS against re emerging viral pathogens, such as Ebola virus, Zika virus, ZIKV, SARS CoV, and MERS CoV and concluded that the enveloped viruses could be effectively inactivated by both WHO formulations IN2, ethanol based and isopropanol based, respectively. Siddhartha A. et al. Virucidal activity of World Health Organization recommended formulations against enveloped viruses, including Zika, Ebola, and emerging coronaviruses. The Journal of Infectious Diseases. 2017 Mar 15, 215, 6902-6. 64. 53. Use of ABHS by dentists in viral outbreak situations. Another advantage, less irritating to the hands. Excessive hand washing with soap and water can cause skin damage and increase the risk for infections. Drying hands with a towel remove pathogens first by friction during rubbing with the drying material and then by wicking away the moisture into that material. The CDC recommends the use of alcohol-based hand rubs containing various emollients and other skin conditioners as a strategy to reduce skin damage, dryness, and irritation. Cure L et al. A systematic approach for the location of hand sanitizer dispensers in hospitals. Healthcare Management Science. 2014 SEP 1, 17. 3245-58 Vermal Tet Al Hand Hygiene in Hospitals, Anatomy of a Revolution Journal of Hospital Infection 2019 APR 1, 101, 4383-92 65 54 Note after using an alcohol-based hand rub, the dentist must dry his or her hands thoroughly before putting on gloves, because any residual alcohol may increase the risk of glove perforation. Vermal Tet Al Hand Hygiene in Hospitals, Anatomy of a Revolution Journal of Hospital Infection 2019 APR 1, 101 4383-92 Gold NA, 
ABBA U Alcohol Sanitizer Instat Pearls Internet 2018 November 11th Stat Pearls Publishing 66 55 Personal Protective Equipment, PPE, 0103020 Lab Coat or Apron, Wear It Correctly, Surgical Masks and Respirators Safety Gloves, Must Be Worn to the Wrist, Eye or Face Protection, Such as Glasses. 56A a triple layered surgical mask can be worn by all healthcare providers when within 1 to 2 meters of patient. B. Particulate respirators, N95 masks authenticated by the National Institute for Occupational Safety and Health or FFP2 standard masks set by the European Union, are recommended for routine dental practice. C. If available an FFP3 standard mask should be used and in COVID-19 positive patients this would be considered essential. Masks 57 Masks 58 Ryosav N95 use the respirator without changing it between patients for a 6 hour session wear a surgical mask over the respirator and change that after every patient store in a clean, dry container like brown paper bag for 4 days recommended 5 masks reuse protocol for 20 days. 5972 eye and face protection upon entry to the patient room goggles or a disposable face shield reusable clean and disinfect disposable discard 6073 gowns isolation gown upon entry into the patient room mandatory for aerosol producing procedures where splashes and sprays are anticipated attention should be paid to training and proper donning putting on doffing taking off and disposal of any ppe 61. Table 6, Recommended Disinfection and Sterilization Protocols for Dental Clinics Treating Patients During COVID-19 Pandemic. 62. Disinfection of Ferrisol 1 ml of 5% Naokal mixed in 5 liter of dental water line 1 ml of 3% Naokal mixed in 3 liter of dental water line. 63. Defogging. Hydrogen peroxide vapor, HPV, chlorine dioxide fumigation with aldehyde based disinfectant is not recommended. 64. Boost your immunity. 65. COVID 19 immune system boosters. 66. Ayurvedic immune system boosters. 67. Gavital der Stani M, Honardust M, Kamzami. Role of Vitamin D in Pathogenesis and Severity of COVID-19 Infection. 68. Take Huma Message Slash Must Do Keck List. 69010203034 Screening of Patient Visual Alerts in Reception Area Seating Arrangement with Social Distancing of 1 to 2 M1% Hydrogen Peroxide or 0.2% Povidoniodine Mouth Rinse Proper DPE Avoid AC and Use of Natural and Mechanical Ventilators 0.01% Naokal in Dental Water Line Surface Disinfection with 1% Naokal Insist in Abra and face mask for all HEPA filters and UVC lights extra oral suction and disinfection device 0506 70 Conclusion 71 Dentistry for tomorrow Be continuous But, also be prudent Be open to information But, also be sensible be alert, but also be wise.